Hello everyone. In today's lecture, we will discuss about the ideas of Pierre Simon Laplace about invisible body. The French mathematician Pierre Simon Laplace came up with the same idea in 1796, which he referred to as an invisible body. Although Laplace first wrote about invisible bodies in 1796, more than 10 years after Michel, this idea was probably developed independently since there was very little scientific communication between France and England in that period. Michel derived the formula for finding escape velocity as V escape that is equal to square root of 2 G M that is divided by R and if we replace V by C and simplify for r then we will get r is equals to 2 g m that is divided by c square where c represents here the speed of light in the above formula a body of mass m has an escape velocity equal to the speed of light when its radius is equal to the above equation so what this means is that an object of mass m we can calculate how small it would be in order to have an escape velocity that is equal to the speed of light. For example, for earth, this radius should be equal to 8.87 millimeters to have escape velocity equal to speed of light at its surface. For sun, this radius is equal to 2.953 kilometers. If the radius of sun becomes equal to r approximately equal to 3 km, then its escape velocity becomes equal to the speed of light. So the light would no longer escape from it, so the sun will appear dark. Also, any light falling towards the sun would disappear completely the moment it crosses the sun's dark surface or you can say its event horizon. Using only classical physics, Michel was the first to describe dark stars by trying to determine a method for measuring the distance and brightness of stars. The equation that we describe here would, com would came up again as a solution of Einstein's general relativity for the event horizon of simplest kinds of black holes that are known as Schwarzschild black holes. Students, in today's lecture, we have discussed about the ideas of Laplace about invisible bodies. This is all about this lecture. Thank you so much.